Cast your minds back to March 2019, and you may remember two significant pro debuts. Those of high school Yokozuna Kitanowaka and junior high school Yokozuna Ko Yoshi. It's safe to say they've lived up to their promise. Neither boy has yet made a losing score. In Kitanowaka's case, you can hardly be surprised. Just look at the size of him. He stands 190 centimeters tall, weighs over 150 kilos, he's training with Hokuto Fuji and Okinomi every day, and he's a graduate of Saitama Sakai. July 2020 was the first time he'd even gone below five wins in a tournament, a reflection, surely, of the increasing numbers of experienced men he was facing. September saw him on the 14th rank of Division III, another winning score at which would give him a realistic crack at second division promotion next time. He was straight in on opening day against Tamashoho. I keep trying not to get overwhelmed at the Tachi Ai, was his constant refrain over the 15 days. Here we see that Kitanawaka indeed does struggle with the initial impact, but makes up for it with the amazing left parry that follows. I wonder who he learned that from. His second match on day three saw him pitted against a man you may well recognize, Ichi Yamamoto, who was fighting in Division 2 last year when injury cruelly struck. Again, Kitanawaka tries to defend the Tachiai with a glancing left and appears on the back foot, but once that mighty right gets down to the belt, his chances of winning multiply. Day six was arguably a stiffer test against former university national semi finalist Murata. Who would certainly be a salaried wrestler by now had he not been so injury prone since junior high? Even now, huge bandages serve as constant reminders of the year he spent on the sidelines. But once a fighter. <laughs> always a fighter. You really wouldn't think it given his size, but Kitanawaka again overpowered at the initial charge. Concrete evidence as to how horribly difficult this sport is. Defeat to Tochimaru, then victory over fallen top division man Toyo Hibiki followed, giving him a chance to seal an eighth straight winning score on day 12 against experienced third division campaigner Shonan no Umi. Kitanawaka secured his fourth win with a flashy suso harai, the rear ankle sweep. And he showed us he can fight both outside right and outside left, something many more experienced fighters struggle to do. That set him up for an interesting showdown on day 15 with Bushozan. Great sumo from Bushozan, neutralizing the left, pinning the right, and then prompting the younger man to pull. 
Due to that win, his chances of making the top 5 next time are now infinitely higher than Kitanowaka's. However, the strapping 19-year-old enjoys the role of challenger, saying, I'm benefiting from fighting these strong guys every time, and whether I fight well or badly, you can be sure I'm giving it my all. Expect to see him in Division 2 sometime next year. Although you wouldn't believe it from the videos I'm about to show you, Yoshi also posted 4 wins and 3 losses this time. He started off well with this win over Chio Daigo on day 2. But had his defenses sliced through by Tsurubayashi on day 3. On day 6, his Tachi Ai made no impact at all against Chio Arashi. But on days 7 and 10, neither of which I attended, he found a way to push out both Koto Hayato and Kiri no Fuji to reach 3 and 2. Day 12 saw him paired with Fukai, the Toyo University graduate who beat Mudoho for the July 4th Division Championship. Again, he was totally outgunned, beaten back at the Tachiai, then forced to give up his belt. All things to improve upon in the many sumo years which doubtless lie ahead. Sadly, we weren't there again to see him beat Kotodairyu on day 14 by double-handed arm twist to continue his steady progress up the chart. But we did capture him on camera handling stablemate Shodai's prizes at the title presentation ceremony. I can only imagine what kind of dreams those prizes put inside his mind. He trains with Shodai and Yutakayama every day and wants to one day blast opponents backwards as they do. They say I'm rising quickly, but I don't pay attention to my age, Yoshi claims. All I want to know is how well I can fight in Division 3. He'll be in the middle of that division next time. We wish him well. And let me just add that the boy who contested the 2019 Hakuho Cup singles with him, Riki Otsuji, two months his junior, scored a 6 and 1 in Division 4 in September, leaving him well placed to join Yoshi in Division 3 in the next tournament. Seeing these guys rise is one of the more exciting aspects of doing the channel. It's great to say to you, you saw it here first.